All right. So now we're going to talk about multiple particles, especially in particular dipoles. So first of all, some notation that um, I used a little bit of this in, in one of the earlier videos, but you, if you want to talk about multiple particles, you need some notation so you don't lose track of everything. So you're going to talk about particles 1 through n, and um, it's common that if, the, if you're measuring the distance from that particle to a common point, you might just use the subscript 1. If you are measuring the distance between two of them, you often will use 1, and then let's say this is 3. The subscript of both um, does indicate the distance between both of them, or between those two particles as opposed to some arbitrary point. And when you're talking about dipoles, um, you line the dipole center up at the origin. And if you are, um, and, and then you talk about your distance from the dipole as the distance from the center. Um, and this is because we're often doing problems with dipoles where we're far away from the dipole. So the distance between, so whatever it is that you are um, looking at, it, the distance between the two charges is negligible compared to the distance um, at the point you're looking at. So you can treat it as a point object at the center. And um, we talk about that distance as B, and then you'll have a distance between the positive charge and your point and the negative charge in your point. And you line the polarization up, the dipole moment, so that it is aligned like that. And then you don't care when you're actually looking at the force at a distance far off from that dipole. Um, you're not, you're usually talking about a dipole that is very, um, the separation is very small compared to your distances. So you won't really see the structure when you're way out here at point B.